everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I have a third session on surrender. I chose, actually, actually sent down an email to see who wanted to work on surrender and be on video for YouTube. And I had a bunch of people respond, but for some reason I must have tested three people. So I, and they're all people that I've worked with before. So we're doing this um, today on surrender. I'm gonna introduce you to Brian in a minute, who's actually done a little bit of work on surrender. And I'll just say for myself, I've had to hit it a few times. It's like, I can hold it for a while, but then new energies kind of pop in and pull me out of it. And if I can't return to it quickly, I'm like, all right, is there energy here that I need to release? And then I'll find out if there is, and then I'll work on it. So it, for me, I am think that this thing of just giving, giving up and allowing the good stuff to flow and being able to recognize it and go along with it is sounds so easy, but it's really like one of the hardest things to do, <laughs> at least for me it is, and for like most people that I work with. So anyway, um, I'll be sharing my screen when we get going on that, but I just want to ask um, Brian, because last time we worked, we did work on this a little bit, right? And I'll pull up my notes and you'll be able to see, you know, what, what we had in there. Um, but, you know, so what's your experience with that? You kind of feel like you need to work on this some more, right? Yeah. Well, I had a lot of, a lot of ways to go before I would be able to completely surrender because I'm very much a control freak. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get it all done this session either. But um, yeah, it helped. So yeah, but the more like the more you release these, and sometimes there's only so much you can release at a time, and you have to adjust to that way of being, and feel your way through it. Because you know we have to take part in in this as well. It's like mm -hmm. we get rid of the energy, but then we have to train ourselves to be like to notice when we're getting pulled out and be like, no, wait a second. No, I'm just going to surrender to this. I'm going to allow this to be. I'm going to see where it takes me. Or I find. I think a bigger thing for a lot of people with surrender is just being able to realize that we're receiving information all the time. Like mm -hmm. what's in our highest good and which way to go, but we don't always hear it. And sometimes we give that power away to like outside voices, right? That kind of throw us off. I mean, that's happened our whole life. <laughs> We've been so conditioned to certain things and it's really returning back to that truest nature of the, cr the creator that we are. So I'm gonna share my screen um but you know would you say that you can hold it better than you used to be able to in certain situations yeah okay or, or like with certain certain topics i guess okay so some things can pull you off easier more than others i'm just sharing my screen if people see it going to black there yeah and some things i really still can't surrender at all okay <laughs> all right want. So they're kind of specific. Now, the thing is we can, we don't, you don't have to, that's something you don't want to say like on a video, you can be thinking that and we'll just include that. Cause if you, you feel like there's a certain area where you feel that more, more. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Um, do, do you want to elaborate on that or just leave it as that? Let's just call it the energy just by thinking about we'll it. Call it the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because this is on video. You know, I'm sure that if it was just the two of us, you'd probably expand a bit. But we, we don't want the whole world knowing whatever it is, but we don't need to because I can just, you know, muscle test what you're thinking. Your subconscious mind knows the whole story, right? But I do like to bring the energy up. You know, like when we that's why we have the conversation, because we're just kind of calling it up. And sometimes things in the conversation wind up coming out through the body code and the emotion code. It's pretty amazing. Um, all right, so you ready just to dive in then and see where it takes us? Yep. I have to say the last two sessions I did, because I already uh, worked with those people this week, one of whom I also, I've done a lot of work with. And her things that came up were like kind of all over the place. Like it, it didn't even seem like this is for surrender, but it was, right? And we'll see how that, you know, develops for her. Uh, the other one was, it made sense. Like it was a little bit more like things that would pull her out of her power. And I know for me, um, different things I worked on recently, even though I didn't know it might be to do with surrender, all this stuff about power, stepping into my own power kept coming up. I'm like, still, I mean, how much do I have to work on this? Right. But mm -hmm. different things present themselves for you to bring up more of this energy. So you can just be free of it. Kind of how it works. So we're going to see where, where this takes us today. Um, let's dive in. So, uh, First, let's just call in the energy. I like to just, you know, acknowledge that we're pulling this energy into work with us. 
And I want to make sure, too, that I can work here with Brian and test this Brian. Okay, good, Linda. No, Brian. All right. That's it. I'm going to muscle test with these fingers, and we're just going to go for it. So it'll be fun. Who knows if we go to belief. First one I did, no belief code came up. Second person I did, a belief code came up. So we don't know. We'll see what comes up. Um, let's look here to the right and the left. And so we start with energy here. Right side, left side. That's it. No, mental. All right. Uh, on the right. Uh-uh, left. Okay, we'll do. All right, so we're starting with broadcast message. All right, what's this broadcast that's being sent out there? Of course, whatever we send out, we receive. So what is it? Uh, in A and B, no, it's in C. Is it odd? It's even. Two, four, six. C, six. Is it? Resist me. Take away my power. Look, there it is. First thing. Yeah. Well, of course, because if we could just surrender, we're more in that power to so trust and know and receive and flow. All right. So we have to take away my power. Uh, anything we need to know, understand about this at all? No. Uh, associations? No. So your subconscious mind is like, let's just get rid of it. Okay. So we're going to just swipe. You can swipe with me if you want. <sighs> okay. Feels good. All right. Got that one. What's next? Right, left energy mm, on the right no left post-traumatic offensive no mental okay right side a memory field okay Let's see if we need to know anything about this memory field uh is there something we need to decode around it mm -mm. associations no so it's just a memory field we're just going to release whatever that memory is just a cloud of energy that follows you around and it's time to just let go of that Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> good. Okay, the shivers. All right, so that's released. I love doing this work. All right. Back to the beginning. Right, left, energy. Okay. It's on the right. No, it's on the left. Offensive. It's mental. We might be there the whole time for all we know. On the right, no. Left. Okay. Another broadcast. All right, so would it be an A? Okay, so it's B this time. Is it B odds, B evens, two, B two. I am unworthy, I'm weak, I'm weird, I'm wrong, I can't. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, take my power away. I can't do it myself, blah, 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 right? That, whatever the stories might be around that. So do we need to understand how it came about, when it came about, anything? No. And is there an association? No. Okay, so we can wipe it out. Let's just release this I can't message so it's no longer sending out there to the universe. <sighs> and, and, you know, that's like, makes so much sense, right? Because it's like, no, I can't. I can't just, I can't take this anymore, whatever it is, right? Or I can't do it, or it's too hard. Yeah, okay, so that's released, yeah. Yeah. And again, um, you know, these last three sessions that I'm doing here with Surrender, I've worked with these people before. And I find that more I work with people, the less subconscious mind needs to know the story. Unless you need to know that there's some kind of details, it's got to bring up something you haven't realized was affecting you. Then we might have to dig into it. Um, but so far, we didn't have to know anything. So let's see, where do we go next? Right? No left. Energy. On the right. No, it's on the left. Offensive. No, it's mental. Okay. To the right, not to the left. A will to, no will to, a broadcast message. You know, my husband had this weird thing because, you know, we haven't landed in offensive, which, is, you know, it doesn't matter if we do. It's just energy. Just release it. But I worked on my husband this morning because he's had some weird thing going on with his eyes yesterday and today. Um, almost feeling like a flu, but not really. Anyway, it turned out there was an entity that was affecting this area right? Released it. And he was out working somewhere. And I called him. I said, I just finished doing this. I released an entity. It goes, it went away. Like it just lifted. It just went away. So, you know, it's just energy, right? You get rid of it and then we move on. Um, so in case, you know, anyway, I don't know why I brought that up, but maybe somebody needed to hear it. Okay. So broadcast message. Where's it going to take us? Okay. So it's A, it's B, odds, one, B, one. Okay. I am suffering. No, I'm tired. Uh, I'm unforgivable. I'm unlovable. I'm unwanted or unloved. 
Okay. That's funny too, because that's another one that came up in that same session with the entity <laughs> for my husband. So unwanted, unloved. All right. So whatever that means, do we need to know any details around that? Something we need to know. No. Associations. No. All right. Let's just wipe it out. Um, unwanted, unloved. You know, so like if you're thinking about, say, business stuff, right, that unwanted energy could could block things, right, could block opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, we're releasing that one. Okay, that's gone. Okay. To the right, no, left, energy. Right side. Okay. Allergy or intolerance. No. Emotional. A reverberation. Okay. Some energy that keeps ringing out right side organ and emotional reverberation so there's a trapped emotion that's kind of just ringing out so if you come in contact with that emotion like in somebody else it, it'll just you know it'll heighten it within you right so it's kind of like it can trigger you let's see what the emotion is <clears throat> a b it's odd it's even uh, b2 4 b6 is it pride shame shock Unworthy. All right. Let's get rid of that one. Do we need to know details around how this came about? No. Uh, something associated. Nope. All right. So, so let's just swipe it out of there. <laughs> it's just so amazing how just just running this magnet along that meridian dissipates this energy and releases it. So that's good. That's gone. That's released. All right. What else? To the right? Nope. To the left. Energy. Yeah. Energy, right side, left side, post traumatic. Oh, offensive. Okay, right side, left side, post traumatic, offensive. All right, so we're in there. Uh, on the right, notes on the left, a curse, an entity. That's probably why I brought it up because it, the energy is kind of vibrating out there. All right, so you know, an entity for anyone who's never seen this work before, uh, you can read it here. It's just a type of a spirit energy being that can affect the physical body, energy body, or the energy field of your aura causing various problems, but just like any other trapped emotion, it's just an energy. We're going to get rid of it. Um, and then there's all these different things like that you could feel around that. So, of course, this entity is going to block things. Now, do we need to know how this came to be or what's going on around this? No. And is there something that is associated to it? No, no association, nothing to decode. Okay, so let's just wipe it out. So I like to just, you know, ask or just command in the name of Jesus Christ, the ultimate healer, that we just uh, release you from Brian to never, ever, ever return, right? You're like banned. Uh, the way I like to think of it, too, is just sending that energy to the light, right? Because they're just sucking your light, your force energy, uh, and we want to just send them to the light. All right, good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. A couple of shivers there released all right good get rid of that that little bugger okay all right what's next right left energy is it right no it's left post traumatic offensive mental okay on the right no on the left a will to okay so it's not going to be any will that assists you right it's something that's in the way so would it be uh, an A? It's in B. Is it? Uh, no, it's even. Is it two? No, it's four. Okay, B4. It's the will to prevent. No. To be alone. No. To be punished. Not to be controlled. Ah. Okay. Right after the entity, we're getting this one. We're going to blow away. But first, let's just make sure. Is there something here we need to decode around this? Is there anything else associated to it? No. All right. We're just going to wipe it out. Will to be c c controlled. We're letting it go, sending it to the light, giving it to God. <sighs> Releasing it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. All right, that's released. What else? You're not going to get to say much if we don't have to decode anything. <laughs> no, no. It's easy. I don't, think, I don't think you mind, but you know. <laughs> okay, so where are we going next? Right side, no left. Energy. Okay. Something right or something left. Oh, post-traumatic. Okay. What kind? Uh, recovery. No. Physical trauma. All right. Physical trauma. We don't always have to know what these are either, unless you need to know. Is there something you need to understand? No. Decode around this particular physical trauma. No. 
something associated to it though. No, nothing. Okay, we get to release it. Letting it go, sending it to the light, just dissolving this energy forevermore. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, nice big breath there. It's released. Okay. Uh, is there more? Yeah. Uh, right, no, left. Okay, energy. Right side, no, left side. Post-traumatic offensive, mental. To the right, a memory field. Oh, programming. Now, let's see where we go. An image, no, despair anchor, no, belief code. All right, cool. Let's get some beliefs that are mucking up the way, the, you know, getting in the way here and messing things up. So you've done belief code before. Um, let's see what kind of system we have. Is this a basic system? Okay. So it's the regular format that we use for finding these. So there's going to be negative programs, limiting beliefs, uh, faulty core belief. Okay. Here, I'll just put those limiting belief, faulty core belief, and maybe even faulty core identity, which comes about from birth to age seven. That would mean all of these things are connected to really young. But let's see what we get for the negative programs. Let's go over to the belief code. Okay. All right, so this belief code, where are we gonna find the first negative program? Is it on the right, on the left, in divine? Right side, left side, faith, divine faith. Sometimes when we find these, after you see them all, it kind of tells a story. You're like, oh, all right, it makes a little sense. But, you know, doesn't always make sense. So we have divine faith. We're looking at the negatives. Um, are we looking at section one or two? So section two. So don't read these while I test them. It's only six of them. So is it one, two, three? It's number four. My faith won't grow. Okay. That makes sense. Very common. I've, I've gotten rid of that so many times for so many different things. <laughs> you know? uh -huh. Like, really? Come on. Still? All right. It's always for something different that you're working on. So let's see. Where Do we have another negative program here? When we do. Is it right? It's left. Divine. It's insight. Okay. So that's third eye area. Right, because these coordinate to the chakras. Insight and right, no left. Is it body defect, illness, no pain? All right. Let's find a negative statement, section two. Only six of those. So is it one, two, three, four, five, number five? This pain is too much for me. Okay. And that takes you right out of your power, right? Like you can't handle it. You can't get a handle on it. It's too much for me. Now, is there another negative program? And there is. Back to the beginning. Uh, will it be to the right, to the left? Is it divine insight, communication, love? Uh, on the right, okay. Is it children, others, partner? No, nope. responsibility. Okay, uh, let's go to these negatives. One, two, three, number three. What are we gonna find here? It's nine of those, so it's an odd one, an even one, odd one, even one. Two, four, six, eight. Number eight, I can't take responsibility. Okay. Is there a fourth negative program within this system? Is there a fourth one? No. So we just had three. Okay. We go to limiting beliefs. All right. Let's see what we find here. Okay. Some space there. Uh, back to the beginning. Okay. So, you know, in case someone's watching this has never seen the belief code, we use that tree metaphor. Negative programs are like the leaves and the branches, the trunk of the tree, limiting beliefs the roots, faulty core belief, and faulty core identity would be the soil where the seed was first planted. So now we're in the trunk, we're looking at the limiting beliefs. Right side, left side, divine, insight, okay. Some more third eye action here. Uh, to the right, boundaries, education, intuition. All right. 
negatives. One, two, so we're in section three. There's nine of those. It's an odd. No, it's an even. So is it two? It's four. Number four. Uh, I'll be considered an outcast for being intuitive. So that's interesting, too, because like, you know, sometimes when we're little kids and we like know stuff and the big people are like, no, you don't. <laughs> you're just a kid. How could you possibly know? That could that could even start to bring that about where you're like, oh, I'm, I'm something's wrong with me. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. OK, so I'll be considered an outcast. We don't have to decode these. It's just a thought that came to mind. So is there another limiting belief? Yeah. And again, it's when we're talking about um, surrender, that's really being in that intuitive place and trusting and knowing and feeling and sensing where to go, what to do, you know, like allowing that flow. So that's a good one to get rid of. All right, let's find another one. There's another one, yes? Okay, right, left, uh, divine, insight, communication, love. It's on the right, children, others, partner. No, nope. responsibility. Okay. Negatives. Section one. And nine of those. Uh, is it an odd one? No, an even one. So is it two, four, six, eight? I don't want anyone to know the truth. <laughs> you know, and let's just say, it could be anything, right? But let's just say that you know, you knew you had some kind of, as a little kid, right? You knew you had some kind of knowing something different, something that had you be like, like you don't belong. A lot of, a lot of people who are drawn to this kind of work. A lot of times you don't feel like you belong on this planet, right? Like, I don't know. I think I come from somewhere else. Anyway, I don't want anyone to know the truth. All right. So that's, that's good. That I'll be considered an outcome for being intuitive. Those two seem to go right along with each other. All right. Do we have another limiting belief? We do. Okay. So let's find that one. Oh, it's on the right side and it's in power. Okay. So that's solar plexus. Uh, right again. Okay. So is it change, effort, growth, strength? Uh, I don't know. I'm just having trouble typing today. <laughs> <laughs> strength. Okay. Let's find a negative. Seven. All right. So is it odd? It's even. Two, four. So we're looking in six. I'm going to write that six down there. And eight of those, an odd, an even. Two, four, six, eight. I'll always be weak. All right. We don't want that. Okay. So we got all the limiting programs, we got all the negative programs. Limiting beliefs. Uh, is there a faulty core belief? And there is. Let me bring that back up. Okay, what's the faulty core belief? Right, left, divine, insight. Another, another third, I think. To the right. Okay, boundaries, education, insight, intuition. You feel like you um you you get intuitive hits, so you trust your intuition. Yeah. All right, good. You totally can feel that and get that. All right, good, good, good. Thank you. Okay, insight, intuition. Uh, negatives. Section one, two, three, nine. Uh, would it be odd? No, even. So it's even. Is it two, four, six, eight? All right. I don't trust my ability to muscle test. So now you might actually feel that, but it doesn't have to be that. No, it's a hundred percent true. I feel that. Okay. <laughs> Tried it and I could not get to work. I think I told you about it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'll send you some stuff. Did I send you stuff in the past? Like you, you know, sent me video? like this website. It was on YouTube, I think. Yeah. But I, remember, I think it was this one worked best for me, but I can't tell whether I'm like letting it. Go. Yeah. By yeah. myself, or if it's actually happening, I couldn't do the hand one that you do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On Discover Healing 
um, their YouTube channel, they have a playlist and they have a whole bunch of them that you can yeah, play. That's what I like that, yeah. yeah. Um, but it could also be, you know, it could for people who don't want to muscle test, it could just be not trusting that intuition, that knowing, because the muscle testing is just helping you tap into the energy, right? To, to know what you know without knowing that you already know it. So we muscle test to find it better. Um, okay, so good. Let's get rid of that because it'd be good for you to muscle. I think everybody should muscle test. Yeah, I would love to be able to muscle test. And you can't. So, so stop saying you can't. <laughs> okay, I'm getting better at it every day. I'm getting better at it even when I don't practice it because I know I'm going to get it. I mean, you know, t change the story, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, I saw one. I saw one that, you know, it's not anywhere. But where they, the person took one finger from one hand, one finger from the other hand and decided which one's going to be, you know, this, I'm going to push with this. I'm going to hold this one strong. Like me doing this one. You're like, uh -huh. okay, yes is strong. No is weak. You could try that. You're like my name is Brian. For me, that would be weak, right? If it was testing for myself. Okay. Yes. My Brian. My name is John. See, but it doesn't say the name. Okay. So we can work on that later. But the thing is, yeah. don't, don't I have to start from up here? You can be just right here. Like feel the tension. Right. And remember, the trick to muscle testing right. is oh, that worked. Yeah, the trick to muscle testing is not to use too much pressure. Okay. It's just soft pressure. Just soft <laughs> pressure. So you're gonna play with that one because that one maybe okay. that'll maybe that'll work. And you can do that anywhere. You could be shopping. You're like, oh, should I get this one or this one? Is this one better for me? This, you know, you know, I will be doing this all the time once I get the hang of it. Yeah, because I'll muscle test. Like, which crystal should I go? <laughs> you know, like, it could be anything. I'm a Libra, and it's sometimes really hard for me to make a decision. So <laughs> okay, good. So play with that one. If not, I'll think of another one you can try. Okay. okay. So is there a faulty core identity? There is. Okay. Let's find it. So this this is from really young, right? This whole cluster of stuff that we're working on. All right, what's the faulty chord then? It's on the right side. It's on the right side, left side, right side. Okay, so is it power, passion, survival, passion? All right, so that's um, sacral chakra. Um, and the right, no, on the left, choices, financial, sexuality, trust. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Uh, negatives, one, section two. And we got eight of them, an odd one. It's an even one. It's two. It's number two. Uh, if I trust the wrong person, something bad will happen. Oh, well, I guess in people's experience, you kind of think, well, I trusted the wrong person and something bad happened, right? But we don't have, have that energy stick there because it's going to be hard to trust anybody, right? Because this mm -hmm. experience where something bad happened. So we don't want to hold that energy because then you'll never be able to trust someone. And, uh, you know, that could play right into the whole thing with uh, intuition. So here's our story. If I trust the wrong person, something bad will happen. So that came from one to seven. You know, and, and you could you could be who knows. I could have this friendship in kindergarten and then somebody else comes around. And now that kid who you thought was your friend is like all over that person. Right. And you're like, feel rejected or something and something bad happened. I don't know. It's just like a story. It could be any kind of story. So uh, if I trust the wrong person, something bad will happen. I don't trust my ability to muscle test. I'll always be weak. I don't want anyone to know the truth. I'll be considered an outcast for being intuitive. I can't take responsibility. This pain is too much. My faith won't grow. OK, so that's that's like the cluster of energy that's in the way here now. In order to pull those, we have to find all, any associations connected to it. If we don't get the associations, then we can't trust we really pulled the beliefs. So are there associations? Yeah. Are there trapped emotions? All right. I like to start with trapped emotions. Let's see what we get. So we're going to go. I'm going to use body code chart for that. Energy. Come on. Click. Emotional. Trapped emotions. All right. So. Where are we going to find this first trapped emotion? Right, left, prenatal, pre inherited. All right, so we're going to get to re release it from more than just you. All right, so what is the emotion? Would it be an A? It's in B, it's odd, and it's one. Is it effort on receive? Is it heartache, insecurity, 
overjoy. No, vulnerability. All right, so let's see where did that originate. Did it come from your mom? No, from your dad. Did he inherit that? He did from his mom, not from his dad. Did that dad inherit it? Yeah, from the mom. So it's all dads. Does it go back more than 10 generations? Yeah, more than 20, no, more than 15. Okay, so is it 10, 11, 12 generations of someone having trapped vulnerability? Um, so we can just release that, right? Because it's inherited, nothing we can do about it. Uh, 10 swipes, 10 or more swipes, and it's gone. This is vulnerability. So we're just letting that go. <sighs> Releasing it, sending it to the light, just dissolving that energy out of your system. All right. Thank you, God, for taking that. Okay. <laughs> Get the little chills when I do that. All right. So that's released. Vulnerability. Is there another trapped emotion? There is. Is it on the right? No, it's on the left. Pre preconception. All right. So this one, you brought it with you when you came here before you took your body. That's what preconception is. Find that emotion. All right. A, B, odds. B, odds. One, three, five. Conflict, creative insecurity. Let's get rid of that. You're a very creative person. We don't want to have any creative insecurity pulling all of that creativity oh, of yours no. away. Okay. So um, nothing we can know there. So we're just going to release it, right? We're just getting rid of this trapped energy of creative insecurity. Letting it go. Okay, good. <laughs> it's released. All right. Do we have another trapped? We do. Oops. Motion. Okay, so what kind are we going to get this? Oh, right side. Common. So, you know, maybe we have to know something about it. We'll see. Uh, in A, in B, odd, B even, two, four, B4. Okay, and B4, is it depression, frustration, indecisiveness, panic, taken for granted? Okay, so... Trapped emotion of feeling taken for granted. Now, do we need to decode, understand, know how this came about? Anything we need to know? No. All right. Let's get rid of it. Uh, if there's anything you want me to test, I could always do that, right? Mm. You're yeah. good with just releasing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's let it go. Woo. That's what I love about the people I work with often or, you know, have worked with many times. That's released. They're like, no, just get rid of it. I don't need the story. I don't want to know the story. Just get rid of it. Okay. But sometimes we want to know the story. Like, what the heck is that about? Yeah. All right. So is there another trapped emotion? Yeah, there is. So sometimes, even if it tests, you know, like, you don't need to know anything. Sometimes we want to know. We can ask questions. All right. So we have another trapped emotion on the right and on the left. Oh, prenatal. Okay. This one's in the womb. What is it? Uh, a, it's B, it's odds, one, three, B, three, confusion, defensiveness, grief, self-abuse, stubbornness, okay. All right, so I spelled that wrong, here we go. Um, do we need to know anything about it? No, we could ask, was this, was this your own energy or your mom's, we can ask, was this your own trap energy? Yeah, kind of felt like it was, I don't know why. <laughs> Do you do you have any kind of stubborn nature to yourself? Um, probably. <laughs> I have Taurus rising, so. All right. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's what that is. We want to release it. We can. So let's just release the stubbornness, the trapped energy of stubbornness, right? It's a vibration. Let's let it go. <sighs> All right, and that's released. Okay, is there another trapped emotion? No. I had a feeling we were done with that, but let's see if there's something more. So is there another trapped emotion? No. Is there another association connected to all this? Yeah, there is. So we're going to go to the body code. Okay. What else is there? Right, left, energy. On the right. Okay. Allergy, emotional. Okay. Compound. So we have a compound old psychic trauma. 
I don't think I've ever had this one before. You may have, maybe you just not recognize. It's where you have uh, two or more trapped emotions making up a new a new one. Oh, I think I did have that. Yeah. One. So and it's like mixing, you know, actually look at that picture. Uh, the blue and the yellow makes green, the right? Diagram. It, yeah. it, it's making its own um, energy, but they could be inherited too. So let's see what this is. Uh, is it something here to the right? No, it's to the left. Okay, is it prenatal? No, preconception. Okay, so before you took your body, brought this here from some other timeline, some other place. So let's see if you have two or more emotions in this. Uh, would the first one be an A? It's in B. It's odd. No, it's even. Is it two? Okay. Uh, failure, helpless, hopelessness. All right, so there's some hopelessness. And what would the next inner, uh, trapped emotion be? Would it be an A? Okay, is it odd? It's even. Is it two, four, six? A, six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust. No, nope, it's overwhelm. Hopelessness, overwhelm. Now, is there a third? There is. All right. Would it be an A? No, nope, it's a B. Is it odd? It's even. Is it two, four, six? Okay. Pride, shame, shock, unworthy. Worthless. So we have unworthy. So far, we're combining hopelessness, overwhelm, and unworthy. And is there another one in this group here? Is there another trapped emotion? No. So it's the three of those. Okay. And that's preconception. So we don't know why, but those energies form this bigger piece of clump of energy that's lodged within you. And we're just going to release it. I'm letting it go. Deleting it forever, ever, ever. Thank you. Thank you, God. <sighs> feels good. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Is there another association? Yeah, there is. Um, would we find it right? No left. Ener in energy. Uh, to the right, to the left. Post-traumatic, offensive. No, it's in the mental area. It's on the right side. A memory field. No, it's programming. Ooh, sometimes you have a belief system within a belief system, but I don't know if we're going to get that. Let's see what we get. An image? No. Okay, despair, anger. It's a single belief. Did you ever have one of those working with me where we had a belief code within our associations to the first belief code? No, I haven't. It's either. like going really down the rabbit hole. You have to clear all this stuff or you can clear this thing. Anyway, um, we have a despair anchor. Let me just write that. That could have happened. And then we would have to continue that because that would take too long in another session. We don't have to do that because we have a despair anchor. All right. So is it in um, A, it's B, odd, even, B, even, B, two, four, six, B, six. I'll never be loved. I'll never be wanted. I'll never get ahead. I'm a fraud. I'll never get ahead. Yeah, we can feel like that often, right? I'll never get ahead. So. Something we need to understand, decode about how and when this came about. No. Uh, is there something else associated to it? No. All right. Let's get rid of this. I'll never get ahead energy. Ah, let that go. <sighs> All right. That's released. Okay. Um, is there another association connected to all of this? No. Okay, good. So we have all the associations. They've all been released. And now we can just pull the beliefs. Yeah. Okay, good. So we got all of those. Let's pull all these beliefs out and then we'll see if we need to replace any of those. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going and just saying them as we go along. So let's start with my faith won't grow. Right. We're just going to pull it, send it to the light, let it go, release it. Um, this pain is too much for me. Again, just dissolve it in that beautiful love and light. Letting it go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take responsibility. Get rid of that. All right, good. I'll be considered an outcast for being intuitive. All right, get that, get that out of there. Maybe that opens up your intuition even more, right? Letting go of that. Okay, I don't want anyone to know the truth. Send that away. Especially if it's covering up your gifts and talents, your truth, right? We want to make that stuff shine. All right. Let's get rid of now. Um, I'll always be weak. Mm -mm. Send it away. Send it away. Send it away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, I don't trust my ability to muscle test. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. All right, you know, before, no, let me do the other one first. Okay, uh, if I trust, if I trust the wrong person, something bad will happen. That's the one from way back when you were a little tiny guy. We're just letting that go, deleting all of these beliefs, just dissolving it all in the beautiful light. Thank you, God. Oh boy, it's making me burp. <laughs> okay, so let me just make sure we got all of those. Sometimes I get lost in the energy. Um, did we release my, uh, no, let me ask it this way. Are any of these still running in your system? Uh, my faith won't grow. No, the pain is too much for me. No, I can't take responsibility. I'll never be considered. I, I mean, I'll be considered an outcast for being intuitive. No, gone. Uh, I don't want anyone to know the truth. Okay. I'll always be weak. No, I don't trust my ability to muscle test. <laughs> it's not there. Uh, if I trust the wrong person, something bad will happen. Okay, good. So we got all of those. Now, any of these need to be replaced. Okay. Do we need to replace any of the negative programs? No. Do we need to replace any of these limiting beliefs? Yes. Do we need to replace, I'll be considered an outcast for being intuitive? No. Do we need to replace, I don't want anyone to know the truth? No. How about I'll always be weak? Yes. I'm going to replace that one. And let me Let's find it and then I'll see, um, you know, if there's any others before we download. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Stop it. Okay, we're going to replace that with what? Let's go back to the belief code. Uh, would it be on the right? It's on the left and it's divine. Come on, click. Uh, right side, okay, forgiveness, higher self success. Okay, so we're going to find something in divine success. Oh, no, 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 positive statements. I clicked on negative, oh, positive one, two. So section two, 11, an odd one. Okay, is it one, three, five, seven, nine, 11? I am always me. I am always me. Replacing I'll be weak. That's interesting. Well, what is your true nature? A powerful creator, able to manifest and do things and come, whatever, right? So maybe that's part of that. Anyway, we repl we're replacing I'll always be weak with uh, I am always me. All right, now. Do we need to replace this faulty core belief that I don't trust my ability to muscle test? No. Do we need to replace if I trust the wrong person? Some, no. So all we have to do is download for you, I am always me. And then I'm going to see if anything else wants to come along with that, right? Because maybe more insight will come as I do it. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to download into every single cell of your body, right? In the highest and best way for you. I am always me. We're going to download it across all timelines, all planes of existence, all dimensions, everywhere and in every single aspect of you, just really soaking this in, owning who you are, right? I'm always me. Nothing can change you from being your truth, from shining your light and just being who you are. Okay. All right. Okay, so you know what? Let, let's also download this too. Maybe it goes along with that. But let's download for you what it feels like to trust and know that who you are is enough, right? That you are enough, that, that you are always you thing is like, it feels like it just wants you to really own it, like own every single aspect of you. There are no flaws. You're just perfection, right? You're, you're just this love and this light and anything else is just a distraction. So whatever these words are doing, however this is coming in, we just want to download it for you to be able to accept, own, and honor your truth, who you are, the light that you are, and free up anything that would prevent you from sharing that with the world. So let's release any vows, oaths, decisions that would prevent you and forbid you from truly letting the world see you as you, as who you are with all of your talents and all of your gifts and just being able to let that go. It feels like it kind of feels like uh, it's like you're being unleashed, <laughs> yeah. right? So one more thing, though. Let's release any vows or decisions you ever made that tell you that it's not safe to let people see your truth, to let people know exactly who you are, 
every single bit, every single aspect of you to own it, to love it, to share it, to let it shine. All right. It keeps coming back to that, that just let yourself shine. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay. So whatever all of that was. <laughs> okay. Now, you know what? I want to do that bookshelf thing, right? So I'm going to swipe. You don't have to, you can just soak it in, but you can swipe if you want, but I just want to imagine, right? Cause we, we're looking at this beautiful bookshelf. You may see it different every time we do this, but there's all these books and these books just represent all the different beliefs. And many of them actually support you. But we just pulled out a bunch that were mucking up the works, right? We pulled them out and we replaced it with this one here. What was it? I am me. I'm, I am always me. We put that up there on the shelf, right? We're just like putting the spotlight on it. And we're just tidying up all those books, right? Polishing off everything, dusting everything off, and just allowing space and room for all the new things that want to come in to just let that flow, to let your light, your to be. So, so it's coming back again, being that light and allowing it to draw to you all of those things that you desire, all those things that are just a match for you that want to help you to expand in, into even more of who you are, that light that you are. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. All right, so we got that. Yeah, there's something there, something there that keeps coming back and I don't feel like I'm articulating the word, putting words to it well enough, but it's really just letting that light shine, right? Because a lot of times we don't own every part of ourselves, right? We think there might be some flaws, right? And so we start, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But something about that with the, you just shining your light. And I'm glad there were some like Bowser's decisions, right? That came through that would prevent you from just really being that, sharing that and just letting it go. Because when we can do that, and sometimes we can. And when we do that, that's that whole surrender thing, right? When we're in that space and we do that, then stuff comes in. It just flows. It's just easy until we start getting bogged into that subconscious programming again, that tells us all these other stupid things that aren't true <laughs> that cover up the light, you know? Uh, right. And that's what we can do to get rid of with this stuff, but we might not be done. So I don't want to keep talking. I can go off on this stuff sometimes. Okay. So we had this belief code. I want to just separate it out because we got to see if there's more to the story after this belief code. All right. And I just want to ask, um, Okay, have, have we pulled everything that this whole entire tree, all these pieces of it, nothing left behind? Have we done that? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there anything that could undo the work we just did here right now? No. All right, good. Now, is there something more to this whole focus of attention around surrender that we need to clear here? Is there something more? There is. Okay. Uh, let's find it. It's probably not much more. All right. So where to? To the right, to the left, it's energy. Okay. On the right, no, on the left, push back, pensive, no, it's mental. Oh, I'm feeling something in my heart. Is it on the right? No, it's on the left. Will to note. So it's a broadcast message that we're looking for here. I don't know, feel some activity here. What's going on? Okay, broadcast message. Um, what do we have? Six. Okay, so is it in A? Is it in B? B. Okay, is it on? It's even. Two, four, six. B6, um, they disrespect me, they don't care, they hate me, they hurt me, why me? All right, yeah, let's get rid of that one, right? Why me? Why is this happening to me, you know? We can get into that story easy, right? Okay, so is there something we need to know about when this energy was trapped, how this came about? Something to know, no, associations, no. All right, let's just get rid of the why me message. Don't want that going out there. Ooh, that's very disempowering. Nope, I just want to shine that light and get out there. All right, so that's released. Let the world see you. Okay, is there something more? No. Is there something more? No. So we got 100% with this. We can, we got everything we can get for today regarding this. Yes, okay. So is it true that you can more easily um, get into that place of surrender? Yes. And are you able to hold that space of surrender? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're able to return to surrender if you get pulled out of this. Yeah. Because we do, we get pulled out of it. All right. So let me ask this. Um, anything that could under, undo the whole thing, not just that belief code section I asked about this whole thing, all the work we did today. Is there anything that can undo this work here today? No. All right. So we got everything we needed to get. Is it yes? 
All right, let me see how many days to process this energy. Processing time, is it more than five days? No. Okay, so is it one, two, three, four days? <laughs> four days to process. You know, you may or may not feel anything during processing. All right, you have any questions about any of that? I'm gonna yeah. just take, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here so I can see you nice and big. Um, stop the share. Okay, no questions? No questions really, no. Right. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> see, let's see what develops here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So let me know, keep me updated on that. Okay, I will. Yeah, all right. And let's just, I just wanna say goodbye to everybody who was watching. Brian, thank you for you know volunteering to be on camera again. And cause you've been on camera with me once before on my channel. Um, mm -hmm. So whoever's been watching, if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe. Um, ask me any questions you want to ask me. I'm always available. And uh, I'll see you another time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Keep me, keep me posted. I will. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.